In the scripture, Joseph had a big problem. As a teenager, God gave him a dream that he would be in leadership and do great things. But his brothers were jealous of him. They didn't like his big dream. They threw him into a pit. They were going to tell their father that he was eaten by a wild animal. They ended up selling him into slavery. Joseph worked for a man named Potiphar in Egypt. Even though Joseph had a big problem, even though his dreams were shattered, what did he do? Sit around in self-pity, blaming God? No, in the midst of that problem, he started helping Potiphar with his problem. He ran his whole household, organized all his staff, made sure the grounds were clean, the property secure, the supplies in place. Instead of just focusing on his problem, he was being good to someone else. At one point, Joseph was falsely accused and put in prison. Surely now he would be bitter, discouraged. But in the prison, two of his cellmates had a problem. They had a dream and didn't understand what it meant. Joseph didn't say, too bad for you. I'm depressed. I don't want to be here. I don't like you anyway. He said, I can interpret dreams. Let me help you with your problem. He interpreted their dreams. One of the cellmates was released from prison. Two years later, the Pharaoh, the leader of the country, had a dream that he didn't understand. The former cellmate said, I know someone that can interpret dreams. Joseph came before the Pharaoh and told him how the dream had to do with the food supply, how there were years of famine coming, how important it was to store up grain, get everything prepared for the drought. Pharaoh looked at him and said, Joseph, you're the right man for the job. Nobody could do it better than you. He made Joseph second in command of Egypt. What was Joseph doing for Pharaoh? Solving a problem strategically getting everything lined up, using his talent, his skill, his expertise to help the people that were holding him captive. He was so excellent that people from other nations came to study his operation. And I'm sure Joseph was grateful to be out of prison, to have this influential position, but he still missed his family. Deep down, he thought he would never see his father again, whom he loved so much. He'd already accepted that it was too late. But as he was helping Pharaoh with his problem, back home in Israel, his brothers were loading up their camels about to head to Egypt to look for food. They had heard the only place that had supplies was at the palace where Joseph was in charge. Notice what was happening. While Joseph was working on Pharaoh's problem, God was working on Joseph's problem. He couldn't see it at the time. Everything looked just the same. But what Joseph didn't know was the camels were coming. His brothers were on the way. I can imagine one evening there was a knock on the palace gates. The guards looked outside and saw this caravan of camels. They asked the people what they wanted. They said they were looking for food. One of the guards went to Joseph, said there's a group that just arrived. They want to purchase some grain. It was late in the day. Joseph was tired. He was about to say, tell them to leave. Don't bother us. But for some reason, he changed his mind and went out to meet them. He couldn't believe it. It was his brother. You would think that Joseph would want to get revenge. The truth is, he was so grateful to see them, he was overwhelmed with emotion. They didn't recognize him. Eventually, he told them who he was, and they all wept together. He asked them if their father was still alive. They said that he was. All those years, Joseph spent working on other people's problems, doing the right thing, even when it wasn't fair. That whole time, God was watching. God sees your faithfulness. He sees you helping others 